Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PBD Veterans Memorial High School for the first spring athletic event of the season where the boys' fire city lacrosse is taking on the generals from Hamilton Wenham. I am Matt Smith, and I am joined by PBD High Hall of Famer, Bryant University legend, and U9 Youth Coach <laughs> of the Year, Brian Mulk. Brian, thanks for coming out tonight, buddy. Oh, Matt, thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. So we got um, a kind of a new look uh Tanners here, um, some new faces, some old faces. Uh, they're coming off a 12-4 and season where they beat Westford Academy in the first round of the tournament and then lost to eventual state champion St. John's Prep. Um, <clears throat> the Tanners, uh, I think, I think might s struggle to score a little bit. They've lost um, Jack Holden, who got hurt about mm, midway through the season, who was on record pace in terms of scoring goals. Uh... Drew Lucas, who is playing right now at your alma mater, Bryant University, and Keenan Madden. So, interested to see how the Tanners come out offensively tonight. So, we are uh, ready for the face-off. Uh, taking the face-off is Anthony Curcio, who uh, was the starting face-off man uh, pretty much the entire year, last year. And looks like the Tanners win possession. Well, that's a good start, Coach. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they can retain it oh, now, now that we've as begun. I, as I speak, the uh, re returning attack is uh, Matty Betancourt, who uh, played a considerable amount last year, uh, Nick Salvati, and a uh, newcomer to attack this year is number 15, Tyler Kalu. And who do we have in the midfield here, Matt? I see uh, number six, Cam Collins. Yep, and uh, 13, Scotty Turner. So I, I would say at this point, without seeing them play or seeing it a scrimmage, their strength is going to be their midfield. So the Tanners have uh, worked the ball. Oh, nice pass to X. And can't retain possession. That looked like Cam Collins. Yeah, it was a good look from, from behind the cage. Just the pass wasn't handled, and now uh, Hamilton won him, comes away with it. So he's pressing on the ride here, making it tough to clear. And that's that's good to see. Uh, the Generals are coming off a 2-9 and nine season last year. This is a non-league contest for both teams. The Generals eventually get it into... PBD zone. The Tanners uh, at defense are led by uh, Johnny Lucas, younger brother of Drew. Trot Smith, who uh, played the majority of the season last year. And, and younger brother of Trevor Smith. And younger brother of <laughs> Trevor Smith. And newcomer to the lacrosse team, Vinny O'Hara, who uh, they plucked off the football team. Actually, oh, nice. a lot of new faces this year. Uh, Ryan Rice. Vinny O'Hara, Danny Barrett has come back to play a little bit of lacrosse. And then, of course, in the cage uh, is senior goalie Derek Patarelli. I'm actually excited to see Derek for his first um, outing here in the cage tonight. It looked like he beat the Hamilton one of attackman to the end line, but referee saw it otherwise. Coach, I will never, ever understand. <laughs> never understand. I, I understand the rule, but I never. It, it's who's ever closest when the ball goes out of bounds. I know, but you would think uh, referees would put themselves in a little better spot to see that. Mm. But see right there. Now I thought Hamilton went and beat him to the end line. But yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's a makeup call. So the Tanners will get possession after a wide shot by Hamilton Wenham. I don't think either team has a shot on net as of yet. So there's the strength of the midfield. Cam Collins got that ball down into the Hamilton Wenham zone very quickly. He's almost as fast as you, Coach. Uh, there was definitely some speed coming down the field there. And of course, Tanners are wearing their uh, home uniforms. Oh, which, sloppy passing again. Which the numbers are almost impossible to see. 
Well, Cam Collins is pretty easy to pick out of a crowd. So a little bit of scrum at, at midfield. Nice pass. And there's a goal. And a goal. Number 17, Nick Salvati. So the first goal of the season, scored by Nick Salvati, junior attackman. So that's good to see because uh, I know offense was going to be a little bit of a question mark this year. Yeah, Nick's a slick little player. Uh, he was in, in youth and he is now in high school. I think a, a few of the um, mishandles and, and sloppy passes is just due to it obviously being game one. I, I don't know how many opportunities these kids have had to practice um, they've to had, start the year. They've had two full weeks of practice. Okay. And a lot of these kids, uh, it was nice to see played in the winter league up at Tossfield Fairgrounds. Oh, nice. But there's nothing like the real thing. I know they, they did not schedule a scrimmage. Look out. And again, we got we got some kids out here who are, uh, believe it or not, first time lacrosse players. So there's gonna be some uh, there's gonna be some bumps in the road here. Hamilton won with a little trouble clearing. Tanners get possession, and Scott Turner has the ball at midfield. Gives it up to Johnny Lucas. Yeah, that was a nice clear. Yep. Get it out of the zone. Hopefully they can settle it down now and get into a set. First three times down the field, it came out in a 1-3-2. So Tanner turnover results in a... Sort of fast break here by Hamilton Wenham. I don't know who's crazy the mother that is in the stands yelling, but I apologize to everybody at home. Flag thrown on Flag. the clear. So your eyes are better than me, Coach. What do you what do you call it? cross check? Uh, I We're believe so. Looks like it was a cross check. So Tanners will be uh, man up for one minute. Is that right? One yes, minute. yeah, one minute. So Tanners first man up opportunity. And with about six and a half minutes left in the first quarter, Tanners are up one nothing on his on a goal by Nick Salvati. Tanner's in the 1-3-2 extra man set. Nick Salvati up to number 11, Danny Barrett. Cam Collins with the ball now. So another miscue on the pass results in a Tanner turnover. A tough one there. So the generals will look to clear here, and it looks like uh, conscious effort by the Tanners to hard ride this year, which... It's a nice change. Especially early in the season, too, when the opponent hasn't really had too much time to practice their clear. So the generals do, in fact, clear it. And uh, I'm going to assume waste as much time as they can until they get back to even strength, right? We're not there yet. Nope. So, are they at even? Yep, we're back to even, right? Yes. And another turnover by Hamilton Wenham. So, both teams a little bit sloppy here in the, uh, in the early going. Matching turnovers. And in, in spite of the nice weather early on, it has gotten cold here. So, I'm sure that's a factor. Tanners with another turnover. Good check by Scotty Turner. Trot Smith in the scrum. And it'll be 
PVD ball. So, turnover again by PVD at midfield, and Hamilton won him score. See that number, Coach? That was the long pull, number 99. And it picked up the loose ball and took advantage of a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with the goalie. So Hamilton won him goal by number 99, Walker Thorne, which uh, evens the score with 5-11 to go in the first quarter. So Anthony Curcio will get set now to take the face off again. This is a uh, big year for Anthony. Kind of struggled in the later half of the season, and I know he worked hard in the off season, going to face off camps and other things. This is Johnny Lucas, number 12. Yep. With the takeaway on Hamilton's winner's attack with number four. And as his dad would say, that was a hero check. <laughs> He might have screamed it. I don't know if he would have said it. <laughs> so the Tanners retained possession. It was a little touch and go there getting it into the zone, but they got it into the box. And we'll set up the offense. So a couple defensemen come off, a couple offensive men come on. They will set up at the top with Cam Collins, which I think will be a reoccurring theme this year with Cam. And he's a nice scores. take. Nice take. Strong right to right dodge by Collins for a low and away shot and a goal. And I agree. I think PBD needs more of that out of him as as one of the leaders of the of the offense. Yep. And uh, I know Cam has worked hard too. Uh, especially on his shot. His, his shot is significantly harder than it was last year, which is nice to see. Good opportunity for Cam, too. Got a lot of playing time last year, and uh, this is his team along with Patarelli and, and Turner. And that was a great replay, too. Kudos to the PBD Cable TV team. Yeah, big shout-out to those guys. They, they Do we need to plug anybody else, Matt? Yeah, well, we'll get to that. Don't okay. you worry. I got those guys in the <laughs> in the truck covered. <laughs> Guy's been here one night. He's already bossing me around. This is actually my second night. Oh, that's right. I was right. fortunate enough to do a game uh, last year with Coach Tony O'Donnell. Right, and I heard most of the game you were you were making fun of your own brother on the shout out, night. Coach Tony O'Donnell, Coach Kev Holden too. I'm assuming Coach Holden's in the in the stands here because. Uh, Young Jason Holden came out for lacrosse this year. I don't know if I you heard. Were. So we have a timeout on the field. Uh, I assume by PBD because they had possession of the ball. Probably to set up something here. Talk to me, Coach. Timeout in the first quarter. What do you think? Well, I, I think you mentioned it earlier. Uh, coming out and, and being able to get settled into an offense. I think that was a little easier last year when you had veteran leadership like Jack Holden out there. That's it's a it's a big thing when the attackman can kind of control the tempo of play. You know, not only is it beneficial for the offense who's trying to get into their set and, and create a shot, but beneficial for the defense too who get who ha then has a chance to get organized and get rested. Yeah, absolutely. And and I'll tell you when when Jack Holden went down last year, that was a um, that was glaring. The the sort of struggles that um, Ooh, replay of the Hamilton one goal shot and goal here from the long pole number goal. 99 great goal yeah tough one to save there when they you know coming from a long pole sidearm shot like that at close range that's a tough one so yeah definitely uh, an issue second half of the season when Jack Holden went down with the knee injury of uh, you sort of take for granted what he could do in terms of possession well when you think of a of a a kid like that, you think of the, the, the goals, the assists, you don't consider the intangibles that, that he brings um, in terms of controlling the pace of play, all the ground balls, the yep. riding. Yep. And and, uh, and Drew Lucas, too, who uh, 
is, was the Swiss Army knife of the for the Tanners last year. He uh, played defense, took faceoffs. He was on uh, man up. <laughs> uh, Drew did a lot, and those are going to be tough shoes to fill this year as well. So the Tanners will get possession coming out of the timeout near side. Looks like Camp Collins will uh, initiate the offense here. PB's into a little one for one set here, the last couple of possessions. I think they want to isolate Collins up here on this short stick defender, which uh, certainly makes sense given what happened the last time. Salvati is the left-hander attackman on the wing. And a fumbled pass to X. So again, Tanner's having difficulty connecting on the uh, pass and catch, which uh, will hopefully attribute just to first game jitters. Hamilton won a little trouble clearing, good ride. If I was a little bit younger, I could see the number of whoever that was that was on that ride. I think it's Anthony Curcio. So Tanner's come out of the scrum with the ball. Work the ball wide. Trot Smith with the bounce pass to Cam Collins, which does not go out of oh, it does go out of bounds. Looking for a little better pass out of my boy Trot. So Hamilton I'm him again with the ball. Crosses White crosses midfield. Tanner's uh, regain possession and immediately turn the ball over. So unofficial, is that six turnovers, maybe seven? And we still have- Collectively have, or one team? No, just PBD. I know both teams have their fair share, but we're, we still have two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Hamilton one of them settles it down and works the ball to X. And I'm not was that a save or was it? It was a speed time? inside. I think yeah, I think it was a save. We'll give it give one to him. Flag down on the clear. Let's see if PB can come up with possession and maybe get a shot here. And they do, and Johnny Lucas comes up with the ball, crosses midfield. There's a push in the back. Gets a push in the back, but we don't get a call. <laughs> Imagine if the windows were open. <laughs> <laughs> so Tanners will go man up again with a minute 53 left in the first quarter, up by a goal. Goal scored uh, thus far, one by Camp Collins and one by Nick Salvati. So, talk to me, coach, difference between, I mean, I know the difference between man up and even, but the offensive set, because now it looks like it's a... It's a 1-3-2. We, we, we start from behind the cage here. We have one attackman behind the cage, the area we call X. We have two attackmen on the, the wings around goal line extended. We have a crease man and then two midfielders up high. And the thought being here is to stretch the defense out as far as they... Can? Yeah, we, usually it's to overload one side of the field and have, you know, it, to kind of simplify it, turn the, the 6v5 into a 2v1, if that makes sense. Yep. We got some crisp pass in here, but again, another turnover. Probably an ill-advised pass there. Yeah, it could have been a little bit more patient. I mean, the, the, the pass was there, so the, the pass could have been a little better too. So the Tanners will uh, get the ball on the far side at about, I don't know, looks like it went out of maybe the 20, 25 yard line. Nope, was I wrong? Looks like Hamilton Wyndham has the ball, a little confusion there 
on my part and the players. And since PB's know. a man up, they're going to double team the ball here and try and get it back. So <clears throat> Hamilton want him trying to kill the penalty from earlier. Can't imagine there's much time left on that on that penalty. And the Tanners, in spite of their best efforts to double, cannot get the ball back. So penalty is over, and they're back to even strength. And another lost offensive opp opportunity for the Tanners. So the generals will settle it down and work it around the perimeter. Tanner's doing a nice job of uh, keeping the man in front and keeping Hamilton one on the perimeter. Very nice move by number 33 out of the midfield for Hamilton Wenham. Little roll dodge there for his left hand, but Paterelli stopped him on the shot. PB might want to put the long pole on, on that guy there at 33, yes. Yep, 33, that's, uh, that's Lucas Hunt with the nice move and save by Paterelli. So, first quarter comes to a close and uh, Tanner's lead two to one. Um, probably what we thought the first quarter of the first game would yeah, be. Yeah, a, a little bit sloppy, but again, we gotta keep in mind, they've had two weeks of practice and a few of those practices were probably indoors in a gym where the ball looks completely different, coming through the air, into your stick, out of your stick. You know, not, not that it's any excuse. So all, all six players on offense on both teams at this level should be able to, you know, Worked the ball around pretty pretty seamlessly. But, uh, yeah, I would call it first game jitters. So the, the hope would be that as we progress here, both teams get a little bit sharper on catching and throwing. Um, Tanner's next game, uh, they're actually on the road for a significant amount of time. But Tanner's play again on uh, April 5th at Maskinomit at 4 p.m. Um, and then they are on the road for the next five games and don't come home again until April 21st where they're home against Salem at 4 p.m. So um, this first game is going to be an important one. Get this win because they're on the road against Masco, Triton, Beverly, Swampscott, and Ipswich. Um, and I know that a couple of those teams are going to be how's Beverly looking this year so I think Beverly is going to surprise some people I think they're going to be uh, they're going to be improved um, Ipswich is always good mm -hmm. Ipswich has a long lacrosse tradition um, I know that last year Swampscott gave us some fits um, I do not know about Triton um, but this is this would be an important one to get this one under their belt agreed Tanners are led by coach Leo Scheidler who he was in his third season Third season, I believe, yeah. And his, he's assisted by, I saw Brandon Booten over there, originally from New Jersey, moved up here to, to the Boston area a few years back. He and I coached youth together for a year or two. I see um, Paul Gaddy. Yep. Who else? Kevin Mulvey's Mulvey out over there. there. Calling the defense. I'm sure number 25 has already frustrated him to no end, and we're one game into the season. <laughs> So uh, teams will switch sides, and PB is now uh, going from right to left. And Anthony Curcio will uh, take his spot in the face-off circle. Let's go, Blue! Let's go, Kalu! Uh, neither team exactly uh, breaking the twine on the cage here. I, I think the Tanners probably have, they might only have two shots on net, and they both were goals. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's tough to get shots going when the ball's on the ground. Yep. You know, I, I, I'd like to see the ball f find its way over to Nick Salvati a couple of times this quarter. Yep, and uh, I'd like to get Matty Bettencourt involved here a little bit because uh, he, he's going to, I 
think he's could he get things going here. Does he play on the crease? Yep. Okay. So Hamilton Wenham wins the opening faceoff of the second quarter. And we'll initiate the offense from X. And not quite. And another another turnover. Scotty Turner will clear the ball to Johnny Lucas. Oh, good pass. And a nice shot job score. on the fast break by PB. A little tic-tac-toe. Uh, started with Johnny Lucas breaking up into the middle of the field. Shades of his days from an attackman <laughs> when he was a lot smaller. Pays. And I, I, what do you got for a number there? Was that Nick Silvati again, Coach? I think it was, yes, because it finished on the left side over yep. there. So Nick Silvati with his second goal of the game. And the Tanners take a 3-1 lead with... 11-15 left in the first half. So I think <clears throat> getting back to uh, the PBD schedule here, I, I did see, and I, I know that, again, it's not a true indication because they did play Winchester, but Marblehead lost to Winchester last night. Um, so I don't know if Marblehead is the same Marblehead, um, but that is traditionally the class of the conference so if the same coach is there I'm sure I'm sure they are is coach Wilkins still yep. over there yep point being though uh, PB has a good opportunity here this season to um, do some damage <clears throat> so Hamilton went and wins the face off again and works it and shoots it just wide and they will retain possession Generals will start the offense from behind the cage. Is that they, they do now over? have the long pole on 33. Yep. Look at you. You should coach lacrosse. <laughs> Speaking of which, the U9 yeah, talk to me. Peabody Tanners open up this Sunday morning here at the Peabody High School turf against North Andover. How's the uh, how's the squad looking? The the first and second graders are looking good. We have strong numbers. Uh, same with the seventh and eighth graders. The numbers are a bit bit lower uh, amongst the third and fourth grade class, but some 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 good athletes. And it's not U nine. It's it. not U nine anymore, right? It's Correct. Yeah, they switched to grades. So what are you, what are you doing? 20, first and second 20, grade. 20, 40? What, what's that graduation <laughs> grade? Uh, well, I know I know my son is twenty thirty five. Oh my goodness! I probably just did that math. Completely wrong. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, okay. Works for you, works yeah. for me. The only one who's going to know is your wife when she listens to this that you got it wrong. So the Tanners. My mother will absolutely know <laughs> yeah, as well, and, and I'll hear mother, about it. And your mother. So a little bit of scrum out in front of the uh, Hamilton Wenham cage, and the Tanners cannot capitalize. And good effort by the Hamilton Wenham defenseman, but it ends up going out of bounds, and PB will retain possession here. <clears throat> this is a little bit of a quick start, or we got another timeout? Looks like PB's taking a timeout. So Tanners will take the sec their second timeout of the half, or will they? And we're going to a replay here. So this is that sort of scrum that just occurred. Oh, this is the fast oh, nope. break goal, goal from a few moments ago. Good play. Yeah, nice shot by Salvati. So the, the second of the game. The generals will uh, get possession. I was watching the replay. I didn't see how they got it, but they got possession, and they are uh, getting their offensive substitutions in. Hamilton Wenham's in an open set here, meaning they don't have a guy out in front of Peabody's cage, and what that does is it disrupts the normal. Uh, de defensive slide pattern normally you slide from the crease man so if there's no crease man it forces the defense to slide from the adjacent and, and I, I will say from what, what uh, little I know about lacrosse I would have to say the strength of this Tanner's team is going to be their, their defense it's where the most experience lies they got some speed with uh, Scott Turner 
They got some size with Smith, and yep. they got the handle with Lucas. So if they can get uh, the offense squared away, they, they could be tough to beat this year. Good crowd tonight, Coach, for the opening game. and it being Sure so is. Cold. I think people are happy to have sports back again. And Patarelli with another save. And it, and it, you can't talk about the defense without mentioning Derek, who uh, th last year single-handedly kept them in some games. So is this his third or fourth year as the starter? Uh, I believe it's his. I believe it's his third, but I could be wrong on that. Oh, some good help there. Helps when you have two brothers at home shooting on you. Yep. So. Aaron yep. shot from Hamilton. Wenham is going to give the ball back to Peabody. Patarelli is going to start with it on the clear. And it looks like if the Tams were a little bit quicker there, they would have had a fast break. With Johnny Lucas at midfield screaming for the ball. So instead, the Tams are going to have to do a true clear. Patarelli is really, really good on the clear, too. Stays poised and always makes the right pass. Yep. I, I, don't, I don't think you can... Um, say enough about a goalie who is able to clear the ball. Especially at the high school level. Yeah. So many, you see so many turnovers from the clear. This is Cam Collins, right? Yep. Up at the top of the key with the ball. <laughs> Called at the top of the key because you're a basketball guy, Matty. Appreciate that. <laughs> and he's going to dodge for his right hand. Oh, the defender just got a little poke up under the glove, forced a, a high pass to Salvati, so it's going to turn over back to Hamilton Wenham again. And it looks like uh, <laughs> running in and then immediately running off was number two, Jordan Tompkins, who is another recruit from the football field, uh, playing for the first time this year. Oh, and another save by Patarelli. A little breakdown by the PBD defense, not knowing who they had. Patarelli bails him out. So it's nice to see some new faces out here. I knew um, for a little bit there was some talk that they'd be in jeopardy of not having a JV team. So I know they got some, some numbers out to field the JV team, which it's hard for me to wrap my head around. Had a rally with another save. So the, the general's getting their opportunities here, but uh, Derek has, has stepped up here in the second quarter. Yeah, both teams do look a little slim on the sidelines now that you mention it. And my guess is, uh, I'll speak for Peabody, but there's probably some JV kits on the, staying on the sideline over there too. So, but it's good to hear that youth numbers are up. That's good. So Hamilton want to retain possession. We'll start from the far side. Looks like they're in that. Spread set up, you talked about again. Another turn, oh boy, offense by accident there. And they shoot it high and high and wide, but that was a bouncing ball and nobody between him and the, and the crease. Yeah, that was a missed opportunity for Hamilton when I'm there. from Hamilton went in with the ball, feeds inside, a little backhanded shot, misses its mark, and Patarelli beats everybody to the end line. Coach, what do you see for a number there for the Hamilton one goalie? I can't see that far. 
the goalie. Yep. Looks like 19. Ends in a 9. Yep. So is that helpful? Yep, that is. Because I only had two choices. So the goalie for Hamilton Wyndham is, is Ben Woods tonight. Who hasn't had a ton of opportunities. But then again, the Tanners have made the most of theirs. I think they probably have four shots on net and three goals. So This is PB's captain here, defensive captain number 13, Scott Turner. who uh, emerged last year as a huge part of their defense. It's nice when you have some speed on defense, and he certainly has that. So Hamilton won very methodical here in their offense. Very patient. Oh, that's why. There's a goal. Kind of <clears throat> caught the PB defender ball watch in there for just a, just a moment. And they were able to capitalize on a nice little backdoor cut. Is that 33 again? Number 30 with the goal from Hamilton Wenham. Will Stidson with the goal. So, with 3.50 left in the half, the uh, Hamilton Wenham Generals have uh, cut into the Tanner lead and is now 3-2. Tanners, uh, do they regain possession? We'll see. <laughs> ball still loose. And Turner, Turner gets ball. possession. Oh, the cage. Nice catch, shot, bounces over the cage. Yeah, strong take to get himself in front of the cage by Nick Salvati. Uh, bounce shot just missed its mark a bit. I'm wondering if I could knock on this window and tell this guy to sit down in front of me. What do you think? <laughs> well, do we know him? I uh, can't see his face. <laughs> hey, Trace. Could you ask this man just to move a little bit to his left? Yeah. Yes. See that, Coach? Tracy Smith with the assist. Can you ask? receive. It's nice to know people. That's, that's that Hall of Fame treatment. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so Tanner's turn the ball over. Hamilton one of them clears. And do they turn it over as well? I don't know. It's like a field hockey game over there. But again, thanks to PB Cable TV, I, I've been watching the game the whole time from this cushy little monitor up here in the booth. It's it looks great. High def. It's fantastic. It beats looking through the screen here. So as good as time as any as the Tanners are working the ball up the field here is to uh, shout out to the crew. Rafi Enriquez, Allison Morley, Bob Boyce, Aaron O'Brien, Don Murphy, and Steve Valente who does a great job and works tirelessly to get as many PBI events on PAT as possible. Uh, did a really nice job in the winter. And we're going to an instant replay here. This is the Hamilton so Wenham goal. This is the goal. last Hamilton Wenham goal. Yeah, Johnny Lucas, ball watching. I'm sure he'll hear about that at the dinner oh, table tonight. Oh, he's occupying ball watch city. He needs to get kicked out. So, we have an, uh, another timeout. Actually, I don't think the Tanners really took that second timeout. I misled the viewing audience there. Uh, with 2.16 left, Tanners lead 3-2. to two. And... Um, I don't know, Coach. What, what are you saying in this huddle? Catch the ball? <laughs> like, I, I think they're just going to... I would try to find the matchup on the, in the midfield, whether that's, you know, Cam Collins dodging a short stick or... Yeah, I got to imagine at this early stage in the se season, you uh, just go with what you know, and at this point, uh, go with speed and one-on-one matchups and 
Camp Camp Collins is probably yeah. In, in, in high teams. school, it's all about riding your lead ponies, right? There's always one or two guys on each team that you can depend on and, and go to when there's two minutes left in the half. So uh, we come out of the timeout, and uh, it will be Tanner's ball. Looks like uh, possession will start on the far side. I'm going to assume that's Cam Collins over there. Mm -hmm. oh, looks like that could have been a ward. So Cam will swing it to... Looks like Danny Barrett. Danny Barrett with the crossover. A little shake and bake. Yeah. He's going to dodge to score, yep. though. Yep. He's just dodging to dodge. Yep. No one to give it up. And uh, another turnover. Sh shocked to find out that the Tanners turned it over again. And. Um, Shockingly enough, Hamilton Wenham turns the ball right over back to PBD. So it'll be PBD ball with uh, about a minute and a half left in the half. And it looks like we'll, we'll put the ball in Johnny Lucas's stick here, which probably makes sense. Well, as I say that, he goes ahead and turns the ball over. At this rate, Johnny might be sleeping in the shed. Yep, and uh, probably a good time out there by Hamilton Wenham to uh, draw something up and maybe get into halftime tied here. So, <laughs> Coach, need the team breaking the twine on the back of the net. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see PBD, you know, get settled in a little bit. It'd be nice if one of the attackmen would could take the air out of it for a little bit, create some space, and maybe make themselves a threat to dodge. Yeah, so... I think it's important for kind of all six offensive players to always be a threat or always be a threat to score. Yep, and I, and I think that will uh, that will be a work in progress because we got a lot of new faces there on offense and kids who really haven't haven't played together. Uh, you know, the last couple of years, we Tanners have had the luxury of, uh, especially on attack, having kids who have basically played together since elementary school. Mm -hmm. You know. Colby Therians of the world and Nick Paterelli's and Jack Holt. All my guys. Yep, all your, <laughs> all your guys. Credit all to you, yeah. Uh, and, you know, from experiencing probably, I don't know what this is, 12 or 14 years of lacrosse for me, there is nothing more important than that feeder program and that youth program. And you and Coach Holden and Coach Lucas. I was actually thinking about, about this the other day. I, I, I was asking my, my folks when I started playing, and it was like 1997 or 98, which would have made last year the 25th year uh, of, of PB Youth Lacrosse, which was kind of cool. And speak of the devil, into the booth, Coach Holden. Coach. Want to grab the microphone for a minute? <laughs> So, Hamilton, <laughs> no, if, if we have Coach Holden sit down, we'll never get rid of him. So, another turnover in midfield, and the Tanners will retain possession, at least momentarily. Jordan Tompkins out there, uh, mixing it up a little bit. Football recruit. And the Generals will try and get a shot off here with the last 30 seconds of the first half, down by one. If you're Peabody, you want to be over-communicating here to end the half. Yep. And there's a shot from the outside by Hamilton Wenham. Hamilton Wenham, excuse me, midfielder number 12. Wasn't even close. So Hamilton will try and get a shot off here. I'm not sure they'll be able to do it the last seven seconds. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Good job by the Tanners to sort of tie it up and 
run that clock out. Two seconds left. Can we get a shot off? I know you can in basketball, but... And actually they do, and Paterelli makes the save. Not sure if that would have counted. So, at the end of the half, Tanners uh, lead Hamilton Wadham Generals 3-2. to two. We'll be back in the second half in a few minutes. DC Rentals has been in business for almost 30 years, offering state-of-the-art radio communications and security camera systems. DC Rentals is able to cater our system, scale it down to any size event, large or small. Our custom-built trailers are designed for fast deployment with full video and communication capabilities. We offer top-of-the-line Motorola and Hi-Terra dispatch and radio equipment, along with Telex and Zetron consoles. DC Rentals Mobile Command Trailer is also available for special events or emergencies. In addition, we provide individual and group training sessions on all of our equipment, as well as 24-hour customer service. DC Rentals can be reached at 781-289-3000 or on the internet at dcrentals.net. DC Rentals is a proud sponsor of Peabody TV. Welcome back to uh, Peabody Veterans Memorial High School where we are about to set the second half uh, of boys varsity lacrosse uh, versus Hamilton Wenham. Score is 3-2. to two. Um, Coach, want to give me your analysis of the first half? I can probably guess what it is, but... Oh, I'm going to keep it positive. I think uh, both teams are excited to be out here for game one. And uh, first half, probably working out some kinks, so excited to see what comes of this third quarter. First five minutes of, 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 a, of the third quarter of a game as tight as this can often be the time that it's decided. So hopefully PBD can come out strong. Yeah. So I agree with you. It's uh, it's windy. It's cold. It's the first game. A lot of uh, a lot of new faces, kids that haven't played together before. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know they've sharpened things up for the second half. Uh, especially both teams plagued by turnovers. Probably uh, double digits for both. That's unofficial, but. So to start the second half, Hamilton Wenham regains possession and will initiate the offense here in the near side. Uh, for PBD, we goals, uh, Nick Salvati had uh, two in the first half and uh, scoring was opened up by Cam Collins who has one. Hamilton Wenham scoring by Thorne and Stitson, each with one goal apiece. Neither team with uh, a ton of shots on net. However, Hamilton Wenham did pick it up in the end of the second quarter there, and Paterelli made some nice saves. Hamilton Wenham very methodical in their offense. Clearly, um, number 33, Lucas Hunt, focal point of uh, a lot of what the generals try and do. Legal screen? I'm sorry, interference? <laughs> Pick and is roll? That, is that what that was, interference? I believe so, yeah, interference. So the yep. ball turned over to Peabody. Now it's back over to Hamilton Wenham. So the, the, the Tanners really got to clean up the turnovers here. Uh, I don't want to be the negative one, but if if they end up losing this contest, they can easily look to turnovers. Nice play there, midfield. Looks like Johnny Lucas. And the Tanners regain possession. Maddie Betancourt on the press. He will shoot and score. So that looks like Maddie Betancourt with his first goal of the season. Push the Tanner lead to four to two. And then uh, my humble, not very knowledgeable uh, lacrosse theory is that... Don't pass it, just take it yourself? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Don't give it. yourself the opportunity to turn it over? Yep. No, that was, a, that was a nice job of taking advantage of an unsettled situation there by Betancourt. 
And actually, I think I stand corrected. I think that was Tyler Kalu. Oh, was it? Who scored sorry. that? Yep. Number 15. I don't know if we can see that on the monitor. Apologize at home when you watch this. Uh, it's tough with the PBD home jerseys to see the numbers, but we'll we'll see if there's a replay and we'll get that number straight. But I'm pretty sure it was Tyler Kalu with the goal. So the Tanners win the faceoff, win the possession. Johnny Lucas for the moment, and not sure what that call was, but Hamilton Wenham will get possession of the ball. And we'll start from the top. Good save by Derek Patarelli, who gets the rebound. And the Tanners turn it over at about midfield. So they can't connect on the outlet pass. And again, the Generals will methodically set up their offense. And it looks like they put a long pole maybe in Jordan Tompkins' hands there to cover number 33 for Hamilton Wenham. So, shot looks to be wide. Tanners get to the end line first. And we'll get possession. And Johnny Lucas will send the ball to midfield, trying to connect with Cam Collins, who cannot collect the pass. But is immediately picked up by, is that 17? Is that Tyler? That's 15, Tyler, yes. 17 is I'm Salvati. Sorry. I'm sorry, 15, Tyler Kalu, who I think that is who scored that last PB. PBD goal. So the Tanners slow it down a little bit and change personnel. Try and get what they want. Danny Barrett will initiate the offense from the about the 45. It's uh, it's interesting that they put Danny Barrett in that spot and not and not Camp Collins. Yeah, it wasn't a bad dodge. He did a nice job nope. of staying on his dodge. Uh, nope. And and believe me, nothing against nothing against Danny Barrett, because but uh, been away from the from the game for a little bit, and just thought Camp Collins would have the ball in that situation. So Hamilton immediately comes down and shot and saved by Derek Patarelli, who immediately outlets it to Scott Turner, who turns and gives it to Camp Collins. And Cam will slow it up a little bit, and the Tanners will make their changes. Right here, ideally, we, you want to get the ball down behind the cage while they're changing out where the ball's, you know, let's say for a sec they, they, they did turn it over. At least they turn it over back there, and you right. don't give Hamilton Wenham an opportunity to bring it back down the field at, at, on your end. Tanner swing it all now, the way around the world here. They're now back in that 1-3-2 set that they started the game with. Windows are closed, can't hear the call, but it clearly, coach called the play. Cam Collins is gonna break it down from the top. Now, now to a one full one. Looks like we might be setting a screen here. A little double screen action. An attempt of a double team there which clearly had an effect on the pass. And nobody can regain possession here. Finally, Hamilton won him does. Both teams need to value possessions here because um, not many opportunities here. Good defensive play there by the Tanners. Poked the ball loose. Yeah, that was a great ground ball. And they swing it and it's mishandled. But let's see if they can come up with it again. I will, I'll give PBD this, ground ball, and, and they are a pack of wolves. Just can't pick it up. Hamilton eventually comes up with possession of the ball. 
Ooh, the PBD short stick defender there took a risk by Chasing with that him. over the head check. Yeah, yep. it gave gave his guy a step. They're lucky he missed the cage. PBD on the clear here with Paterelli. He's going to walk it up. Again, youth across, we call that a hero check, right, coach? <laughs> Hank Lucas calls it a hero check. So ball in Camp Collins' hands again. He will slow it down, get it in the box, bring it back out, and initiate the offense. And Salvati zigging and zagging. And the Tanners turn the ball over at the top and we have a fast break for the Generals and a nice play by, is that Trot Smith to intercept the ball? A great outlet pass yeah. back down to Salvati. Let's get a good one here. Cam Collins smartly brings the ball out. Yeah, he's, he, he, he does a good job of creating separation between him and his defender instead of trying to pass or dodge with people all over him. He's sort of filling that Jack Holden role of uh, settling things down. Good look, just can't be handled there by the Tanners. Good try to save, good attempt to save it, but it will be General's ball. They go to the goalie. Nice, nice outlet by Woods, the goalie. Generals are bringing over midfield. They will bring it out and set it up, which they have consistently done. I'll tell, if nothing else, they're consistent in how they set up the offense. We have another turnover. PB will start the ball from their own end line. Johnny Lucas brings the ball up. Crowd's getting a little rowdy yeah, out there, I, Matt. I gotta find out who that is. They're not happy. It's not a voice I recognize either. PB may as well try out this matchup, huh? With the short stick behind the cage. Oh, he gives it up. So hopefully that's a, a, a skill that comes with time that they'll be able to recognize those matchups on their own. That's, you know, again, Jack. that's something Jack Holden consistently recognized. Yeah, experience in game situation, even, even in the fast break or the clear coming down, knowing that, hey, it might not be the best time to push the cage, let's settle it up, or conversely, hey, let's attack the cage because, you know, there's less blue jerseys out there than, than yep. white. Yep. So Nick Silvati with a nice skip pass to Cam. We'll bring it down low to the far side and swing it to your guess is as good as mine. Oh, nope, that is Cam. So Cam will initiate from the top. Pretty good That's defense there by the Generals. He immediately gets doubled. So they've clearly recognized the threat that Cam is at this point. He will smartly swing it to X. And that, that is Matty Betancourt. Who will turn the corner on the cage and try and thread the needle and can't quite connect. So I like the aggressiveness of Matty Betancourt there. F forced the Hamilton one defense to make some decisions. Cam will initiate it again. Generals with pretty good defense on Cam so far. PBD team on offense seems to be ball watching. on. Usually that's something we say when we're talking about the defense, but the offense can be guilty of it too. If you're just standing there watching a guy dodge, it's right. probably not for the best. 
be nice to see a little motion out of the off-ball players on offense. So the Generals will work it up the near side, cross midfield. Tanner's in a little bit of confusion here on who's got who. They will swing it to the far side there, making some substitutions, so they'll wait for the last offensive player to get on the field. Mishandled pass. Hamilton one regains possession. We'll swing it around X. Johnny Lucas pushing him out. Good move. Good move by the Hamilton one offensive player. That's is that 33 again? Ooh, good so feet inside. Lucas Hunt with a nice move, just shot a little bit wide. Just a bit outside. And Generals win the race to the baseline, so they will start with the ball behind the behind the cage. Trot Smith on the ball, who probably should have been flagged right there. But I like the aggressiveness. I was watching the TV, so I missed it. I'm not I'm watching the game on the TV. I'm not watching TV. But I heard the collision. Well, I, I'm, I'm happy about the aggressiveness. I think the referee was a little kind there to keep the flag in his pocket. So with ten, about 10 seconds left in the third quarter, Generals will probably finish the third quarter with the possession. And third quarter will end with a shot wide by Hamilton Wenham. So after three, BB leads four to two. Still a tight one. Yeah. So Still anybody's game. Story of the game here is uh, sort of the, I won't say lack of offense, but uh, inability to convert. How's that? Um, both teams plagued by numerous turnovers, um, both on the clear and just in the normal course of the offense. And again, first, first game for both teams. Um, so first game for both teams. So uh, probably first game jitters. I don't know about Hamilton one, but PBD, a lot of kids playing their first varsity games here today. Yeah, that's tough. And I think uh, I'm not sure if either of these teams had preseason scrimmages, but those always help for obvious reasons. I, I do and, not believe the Tanners did. Okay. Um, so I would like... Like to see another goal or two here by uh, Peavy to give him a little bit of cushion. Both teams, both teams playing well. You you would assume at this point <laughs> in the season that, uh, that probably the defense has the advantage over the offense, and then as you oh, progress, absolutely. as you progress, that that probably swings a little bit. Mm -hmm. I know it's I know it's true in basketball. Lacrosse is just basketball with an extra guy and sticks, really, yeah. when you break it down. So both teams come out of the huddle, and we'll switch sides. Tanner's uh, now going right to left. Both goalies uh, will get to their cage, and we will have uh, a face-off. So again, the, the Tanners next game, they travel to Masco on April 5th at 4 p.m. And are on the road for the next five. Referee giving advice there on how to do the faceoff. I think and hope he was just making sure that they set up correctly. Yeah. So the Generals will uh, gain possession off the faceoff. And we'll bring the ball out and wait for offensive substitutions. Nice crowd tonight on a cold Friday. Good to see you. <laughs> Nice to have spring sports back to normal. 
and winter sports for that matter. PBD coming off a very successful winter season with boys and girls basketball both making the tournament. I believe both track teams won the Northeast Conference. Girls ice hockey, very successful season. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. So I'm going to guess a slash, Coach. But So the Generals will get one more shot here unless Tanners can force them to turn it over. And the rule has changed, right? It's not possession anymore. It's just on the ground. Is that accurate? In order to blow the whistle? Yes, that's right. Do you have any right. idea what I'm talking about? Yes, I do, yeah. Okay. So flag is on the play, and the generals are, would like to get a shot here on net. Because should they miss... They did not stop play after the flag was thrown because possession was not lost. Had they had they lost possession, in other words, it's a it's a chance to um, uh, what's the expression in basketball when you get fouled and you hit the shot at the same time? And one. And one. Yeah, it's like an and one opportunity. Leaning on Coach Smith's basketball expertise here. So it looks like Johnny Lucas. Uh, committed the penalty which uh, based on the referee and based on the situation I'm going to guess was a slash so the Tanners will be a man down for the next minute let's see what coach Mulvey's extra man defense has in store here Is that it's Cam on the at the top on defense? Yep, senior Cam Collins is uh, the middle of the dice there. We call that the string man. He covers inside and then rotates up to play the the man, the offensive player at top center. We have a Aaron pass by the Generals, which results in an over and back. So if it was basketball, that's a backcourt. <laughs> Just keeping with the theme, coach. Love it. There's and, a shot and a and score. The and the Tanners take uh, advantage of the turnover by the Generals and score shorthanded. Not, do we know who the goal was scored by? Looks like Kalu again. So right now, unofficially, Tyler Kalu with his second, second goal, goal of the game. Of the game. We'll see on a replay. So that's Tyler Kalu's second goal of the game. Two by Nick Salvati and one from Cam Collins makes the score five to two with 9.50 left in the fourth quarter. That's a big goal right there. Gives the gives Tanners a little bit of cushion. Sure it does. Looks like we got a Push by Hamilton Wenham. So the Tanners will get possession. There's still a man down here. They are. Good catch. Looks like that may have been a trip. Nope. Pushed out of bounds. So the Tanners take the ball out of bounds, which will give the Generals the ball. And it looks like Johnny Lucas has... Nope, nope. Timeout. Thought the penalty was over. I gotta get some binoculars. It's tough with this screen, but I guess that's why the TV's up here. It's a replay. Latest goal from Kalu. Takes it strong across the middle, top side, and shoots it nicely, low and away, bottom corner. Good goal. It was a good goal. Nice work on that replay, guys. I'm sure the PBD coaches are. You know, first trying to set up a way to burn burn out the time left on this penalty. Probably going to put it in the stick of somebody with some speed, like like Cam Collins, and let him run it out, and then hopefully transition into a into a set once they're at full strength. Sounds like a good plan. So 
with 9.32 left in the game. Tanner's uh, lead by three, five to two. Was scoring by uh, Nick Salvati, Tyler Kalou, and Cam Collins. Uh, Hamilton won him scoring by Thorne and Stitson. This might be a good time, Matt, to send out a special thanks to our sponsors. DC Rentals, specializing in event communications, including two-way radio rentals, security cameras, event production, trailers, and more. Lynn Ladder and Scaffolding Company, home for all your laddering scaffolding needs. If you have a need, you've, if you have a need for scaffolding, Matt, give them a call. Uh, i got to tell you, my days of scaffolding are over. Are they? Yeah. That's too bad. And, and last but not least, Gravok Technology. Technology consulting agency focusing on the design, development, and implementation of technology-based solutions. Great job, Coach. Got to get the plugs in. Yep, I'm sure those three sponsors are very happy that you did that. And just as we said during the timeout, Cam nope. Collins is running out the penalty here. Not we, you called that. I had no idea what they were going to do. Switches to his left hand, shoots and scores. So I know uh, Cam's dad will be happy with that hand switch. Even I knew that was a good move. Good dodge, lefty shot. Instant replay. Cam records his second goal of the game. So with 9.03 left, Tanner stretched the lead to 6-2. To two. <coughs> faked us out there, Coach. So Anthony Curcio will uh, take the face off again. And oh, looks like uh, both teams maybe got away with a push there. Hamilton one will take possession. And we'll make their offensive substitutions. Generals will start from X this time. Switching it up a little bit because starting from the top has not been too successful for them. Here's a good look at Derek Paterelli in between the pipes. Good save by Derek, who collects his own rebound. Outlets it to Lucas. We'll walk it up. Tanner's in no rush here. Probably a little ill-advised pass there. <clears throat> Get a little confusion on whose ball this is. Looks like the Tanners were a little confused too. Number eight, Maddie Betancourt. So, uh, explain, coach, to the viewers uh, at what point do the referees uh, determine that PBD has to stay in the box and can't come out? Is that a, ju you, is that a judgment yeah, call? Yeah, you're talking about the stall call, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. so. It, you need to give an indication that you're attacking the cage. If the, the ref thinks that you're purposely just trying to burn time off the clock without initiating any offense, he'll hit you with a stall call, which then forces you to, uh, you know, make that initiation. So Hamilton, Flag on the play. Yep, Hamilton won him. will uh, be a man down the next minute. Look like uh, possibly a cross check. Hamilton one player uh, clearly did not agree. So the Tanners will start at the top of the key. Cam Collins will initiate the offense. Shot looks like it's hit the side of the net. 
Cardinals will start their clear play. Turnover by the goalie at midfield. Tanners cannot convert. Tanners asking for a penalty, but they're not going to get it. Good pass. Oh, initially good save by the goalie, but it just trickles in after the fact. And uh, looks like the goal is scored by number 11, Danny Barrett, who, after taking a year off from uh, lacrosse, decided to come out again this year and uh, contributes in his first game back. So with uh, 6.33, Tanner starts to lead to 6.2. To so initially, uh, what looked like a good save by the Hamilton one of goalie, looks like maybe went off his stick and rolled in. Yep. Yep, good try. So the Generals win the faceoff and smartly bring the ball out to set up the offense and will make their offensive substitutions. Generals don't have a uh, whole lot of time here to get set up with six minutes left, down five. As they work around the perimeter. Number 16, the shot high. Hamilton one of them, uh, wins the race to the baseline, uh, the sideline, end line, and will retain possession. Possibly a broken stick on the field, which is the reason for the delay here. So generals will start their offense on the far side. Work the ball around to the near side. there by the Tanners who do not win the race to the end line and Hamilton will retain possession. 520 left in the game. Tanners lead 7-2. Goals by Salvati, Kalu, Barrett, and Collins. Generals turn it over briefly but retain possession. Defense there till the end. Hamilton one of them shoots it wide, but will retain possession. Generals do not have a lot of time to waste here. They need to get as many shots on goal as possible. And out of bounds, it will be Tanner Ball, Scott Turner. Bring the ball up, cross field pass. Ooh, great almost catch by Johnny Lucas, who somehow retains possession on that ball. It finds it way, its way into Matty Betancourt's hands. Tanner's turn it over again. Four, 
force to be reckoned with there. Goes almost coast to coast with a nice save by Patarelli. And the turner, Tanners immediately turn around on the fast break. And can't quite get a shot off. So the Tanners will slow it down and hopefully take a little bit of time off the clock here with 3.25 left in the game. Up by five. I'm back here, man. After, after a brief technical difficulty with my microphone. It's a replay. Oh, great oh, save great by Patarelli. Great save by Derek. Yeah. Those, uh, what do you call that? Cross-handed saves? Those are tough. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Cross-handed? Yeah, off stick side, low and away. Those are the toughest ones to get. Coach, you okay? You want to take a minute? <laughs> so, 44 with the nice steal, but... Uh, can't connect on the pass, and Hamilton one turns it over, and the Tanners try and convert, and can't quite. Silvani goes high. I think again, Co Coach Lucas would tell him to bounce it. So the Generals will bring it up field. Not wasting any time here, and immediately go for the shot. And did Petarelli win the race? He did. He did. Nice hustle there by Derek. Yeah, that's a, that's a big play for the for Peabody. With uh, a little bit more than two minutes left in the game to get that possession. I think they call that a box play right there, Coach. Kid came right in, and Derek found him. Yeah, a little delayed substitution there. So the Tanners, <clears throat> again, can't get a shot off and turn the ball over. Scotty Turner with a nice defense to push him wide. PB doing a nice job uh, uh, pushing the generals out wide and getting them away from, I think, where they want to be. Have a flag down. I know you're about to ask me, so I'll just I'll beat you to it. I don't have the answer. I don't know what that flag was for. So I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess because it didn't look like anything was going on that somebody said something. Is that possible? There I was, think you might be right, just based on how they they're giving it to Peabody up at midfield. There was no contact, but I I don't see anybody. I don't I don't see any Hamilton one players kneeling. So I'm not I'm not sure what is going on there. I'll have to ask that in the post-game interview with the referee. Great move by Salvati for a goal. It's a strong move there for his left hand. So Got what we call top side to increase his angle. And here's the instant replay. Good goal. So the Tanners take uh, advantage of the flag, which with all our expertise up here in the booth, I have no idea what the flag was for. And, t and they quickly turn around, and Nick Salvati scores his third goal of the game to make it 8-2 to two with a minute and 10 left in the game. And Kersia will again take his spot in the faceoff circle. Neither team with any really uh, clean wins tonight. Most of them have been uh, scrums to gain possession. I'll say uh, 33 Lucas Hunt for Hamilton one of his bid, sort of the one bright spot here for the Generals. Patarelli again with the hustle to win the race to the end line, and the Tanners will regain possession with 53 seconds to go and can hopefully keep that possession and run the clock out. But we'll see. Flag coach. 
thrown in the direction of Trot Smith over there. Uh, but I, I believe, is that a, yeah, it's a Hamilton Water player going to the sideline, so. So, PB will finish the game, uh, I'll, I assume we will finish the game man up with 53 seconds to go. Uh, do not need to shoot. Um, I'm assuming that message was, was conveyed to them. Uh, that should be general's ball, no coach? That was not a shot. Correct. Yep. And referee is making that correction, so it will be General's ball. PB still stays a man up and will probably remain so until the end of the game. General's cross midfield. And drop ball. Lucas tries to scoop it to Patarelli. Does not work. The Tanners turn the ball over, and the Generals score their third goal of the game. Number 33, the yep. nice fake high goal low shot. So 33, Lucas Hunt with his first goal of the game. Looks like we'll be even here for the last 15 seconds or so of the game. Yeah, I would uh, I would assume Coach Shiler will have a discussion about that play to finish out the game. So with 16 seconds left, Tanners lead eight to three. Are back to even strength. Oh, is that is that a locked in penalty, Coach? Because I don't see a midi on this near side. I think there. Yeah, it must be. To your point, maybe maybe something was said. Yeah. So the Tanners will finish the game. 16 seconds man up because that last penalty was locked in for the generals. But in spite of being the man down, generals gain possession. Five, four, three, two, one, and that'll do it. Tanners win eight to three here at opening night at Coley Lee Field. Coach, thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks for having me. This is great. Great to be back here on the turf. So good opening win for the general for the Tanners who uh, beat Ham the Generals of Hamilton one of eight to three with goals by uh, three by Nick Salvati, two for Tyler Kalu, one for Danny Barrett, and two for Cam Collins. Uh, for Brian Moke, I'm Matt Smith, and we'll see you next time.